Let's bring in right now wow. the mayor of Nashville, Tennessee, John Cooper. He advocated for the reinstatement of Jones and implored the council to give voters of District 52 their voice back. Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, we had heard in, in the days after the expulsions that there were some threats from the legislature for the cities uh, that reinstated uh, these two. Uh, has Nashville received any of those threats? If so, are you concerned that the legislature may uh, exact a price? Well, good morning from Nashville. Um, yeah, we are, I mean, there's an awkward relationship between the state and the city right now. And I think there is a moment, however, to do common sense gun laws like Florida and Indiana. And it would be too bad to miss the moment here in this state after the Covenant shooting to get something practical done with uh, red flag uh, laws uh, to keep guns out of the hands of mentally ill people and so that they don't have unrestricted access. Our thoughts are with Louisville today, that a week later you got another event in a similar city not that far away. Now this comes in the middle of a lot of conversation with the state, uh, their efforts to shrink the size of the council and to take away uh, county authorities and to make them state boards. So uh, it's an ongoing source of tension between the city and the state. Mayor Cooper, good morning. It's Willie Geis. We understand that um, Representative Pearson uh, will get his hearing tomorrow in Memphis in Shelby County and may be, very well may be reinstated as well. Uh, I'm curious as you talk about the tension between Nashville and the state. Um, Nashville as a city obviously is a lot different than different parts of the state of Tennessee. Are there things you can do on the municipal level as the mayor in terms of guns to perhaps prevent some of the things just within your city limits that maybe wouldn't spread to the rest of the state? Well, uh, it's always good to be talking to a Vanderbilt graduate, so I'm <laughs> yes, sir. grateful for that. <laughs> I think um, guns uh, really ha is the state lane, and anything that we were to do in ga guns at the city level would almost be immediately overturned or uh, controlled by the state. But it's not just on guns, it's all our regular local control that we feel is being eroded by the state as red states move in on blue cities a little bit. And I think Nashville is a, really a national example of that. Uh, so, uh, Reverend Al, let me bring you in here uh, for a question for the mayor, but I want to ask you first, uh, how important uh, how important was this reinstatement as you look uh, this week, of course, uh, to, to your own convention and civil rights leaders from across America coming uh, to, to, to your conference. Um, how important was this action uh, for the movement overall? I think it was very important. I think it was significant uh, that people rallied around their own choice for representation. Uh, people chose Jones and Pearson to represent them, and that should not have been in any way debunked by the uh, legislature because they protested around the shooting and killing of six people in Mayor Cooper's uh, city, and he properly stood for their reinstatement as well. This was the choice of the people, and those representatives stood up for those people, and it's very important because as we meet in New York this week talking about voting rights and gun safety, uh, what happened there in Nashville with the state legislature is exactly what we're trying to uh, make sure does not happen. Let me ask you this, Mayor Cooper. Uh, as, as we fight this uh, fight around gun safety, because what Jones did and what uh, uh, his, uh, Mr. Pearson did uh, was really around the broader issue of the death uh, there in Nashville, and now we see it in Louisville. Do you have any faith with this legislature that expelled them? We're hearing from uh, Representative Johnson, the racial overtones she hears in rooms. Do you think this legislature would do anything about gun reform? And if not, then what is the alternative for people in Tennessee to do? Do we have to do it city by city with city councils? What do we do in the wake of all of this? Well, I, I think there has been openness from this legislature to do some limited but common sense things on guns. 
prior to this, the expulsion, there was movement from senior leadership to be responsive to the covenant community and to everybody in Tennessee that unrestricted access to guns is just not appropriate. You have to have some answer. You have to begin somewhere and get something done. And having unrestricted access to mentally ill people, the last three mass shootings in Nashville all would have been affected by a common sense law. It's not that restrictive. Florida and Indiana have it also. It's just a limited step. And I think there had been movement by senior leadership in the legislature, and I hope we don't lose that in this moment. We need to do something constructive on guns. And as for Representative Jones' reinstatement, I mean, it confirms Nashville identity as a civil rights leadership city. And of course, he's reconfirmed unanimously because we're very proud of our civil rights heritage here in Nashville. And it's an important part of who we are as a city. Nashville Mayor John Cooper, thank you so much for thank being you, with Mayor. us. And thank you for your service to the people of Nashville. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you.